Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing a red ale. Oddly enough, I'm the one with authentic gear on. Anyway, this is coming from Dogfish Head. Uh, this is rocking at 7.1%. Uh, 15 IBUs, which is a little low, so you know where this is. Just a straight up red ale. Um, did a little reading up on this. Um, this is part of their Grand Cru uh, Crimson. Yeah, like a Grand Cru thing. Yeah, yeah, and they, they modified it and did something. Had some influence from uh, across the Atlantic Ocean in Europe. Yeah, from Belgium. Yeah. So, that's it. We're going to crack some and see what it's all about. Sorry about the description. But that's just the way it is sometimes. All right. Pouring copper. Pouring copper. Yeah, like a copper water pipe. Well, I never heard of it until you mentioned it today. Let me see the bottle if I you just don't saw mind. It. I just saw it today. It was the only six pack on the shelf. Only six pack. So I figured I'd pick it up. Malt beverage with natural flavors. Uh-huh. Well, how about that? Uh, brewed in the U.S. And... Uh, well, what do you think Dogfish Head is? Well, they're not just in Delaware anymore. Here you go. Ain't got in that bottle anymore. All right, I'm getting a lot of aroma. I'm getting some faint fruit. Maybe <clears throat> some cherries, sweetness. little citrus peel and some other spice I can't really make out all right let's go ahead and cheers you didn't smell anything I wouldn't get much you get sick again did you just been having a odd dry cough and fever um wow it's got a tartness to it it's got a tartness. And I'm, I'm, tartness, I'm yeah. thinking that maybe that's coming from that that yeast that they're using. A lot of a lot of the a lot of the craft brewers like to experiment with that what they call that wild yeast. You ever had the uh, Monk's Cafe uh, uh, no. tart red ale, a sour red ale? No. And this is kind of reminiscent of Monk's Cafe. We used to get that at Mathern's. It was from Belgium. So really kind of a harsh product. It was good. Well, it's like a cherry tart that's going on. It's like on a mild this. version of Monk's Cafe. There's well, they, they did say this is based off of something called Grand Cru that they did. It's kind this of is called Crimson Cru. It kind of has a creek flavor. K-R-E-I-K. -E creek like a Belgian Creek. It's definitely unique. I've never tasted a beer like this. Medium bodied, dry finish, bitterness, one out of five hop cones, sweetness, two out of five sugar cubes. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a full body than what you just described. I'll say medium body. I think it's got a full body. Um, it definitely is tart sweet and there's some kind of citrus but it's kind of like brought down so where you're not really like tasting the, like the sweetness of the of, of it it's almost like it's turned citrus a little bit there's a little bit of tannin in it a oh, little definitely. bit of tannin now if you have the Murphy's Red Ale that was like a lot of tannins that would kind of turn people it's kind of pepper note a little bit, like if you, if you were like eating some arugula. Hmm. I find that the flavor is more mild than exotic. To me, it's just like a mild red ale. And it's some kind of tea that's going on with it too. Yeah. Maybe those tannins that you were picking up. 
But all the flavors you mentioned, to me, they're just mild. Everything is mild. If you think, oh, I wouldn't try that beer, it'd be too harsh. It'd be too strong. It's not strong. It's not harsh. It's I just do find this to be a sipper, though. Because it's, it, it's, it's very viscous. Mm. Well, there's a little oiliness in it. I would say oiliness more than like sliminess. It's kind of like if you could take a whiskey from Belgium and then it's and like bring it down to seven percent alcohol. And there's like a little graham cracker going on with it too. Graham cracker. Yeah. <clears throat> Tastes all kinds of stuff in this. It's definitely different. Different. It's the best we tried so far today. I like it. I also like their classic bottle. You can't get anywhere else. I know they have a unique bottle. Yeah. So. I'm going to go... Boss, too. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to go like 95. I'll never see it in my time. I'm going to go 95, a most excellent beer. But I, I still don't think it's too exotic or outlandish. I think everything's mild about it. It's just different mild with like the little tart, the little fruit acidity. Yeah, it's, it's, almost, like a, like, it's almost like an aged ale. Mm -hmm. um, and the more I drink it, the more it's like a, there's a, like, there's like an aftertaste that's in my mouth. You that's know. usually where the aftertaste is. <laughs> okay. Um, I like how all the flavors mouse together. I like, I like, I like the thickness that the beer has. And it's also, I, I think this is a sipper. I don't think it's something you're going to chug down. 7.1% alcohol. No, I wouldn't chug it. Now, 15 IBUs, so you know you know what you get. Nothing bitter. No. Um, yes, yeah, there's like a whole lot going on with this. Yeah, but a whole lot. And, it's a whole uh, lot, but it's all mild. All the everything yeah. going on is like soft, mild, mellow. Yeah, I have never tasted a beer like this. I have tasted some similar to this, but they were more extreme. Yeah. Well, with that said. I, I'm going to say, Dog Fish, you did a really good job with this. And I'm going to give this a 96. You just had to go hard, didn't you? You know it. That's not right. Makes me sick. All right, anyway. Good job, Dog Fish Head. It's like a beer mm -hmm. and a tea. And, uh... Some really good, like, fruitcake fruit. Yeah, kind of. And a little Graham. A little Graham. It's good. Graham Nash. I would highly recommend it. All right, so that's it. Lazy Lay Bon Ton Relay. We're going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Delaware and take a tour of the Dolphin Shed Brewery, which actually I would love to do that. Where's that? Delaware. What the heck's it doing in Delaware? That's where it started. Why well, can't they move to New Orleans and we'll go visit? <laughs> right. What did Delaware? You know what Delaware? What did Delaware? What did Delaware? A New Jersey. <laughs>